What we learn every day and how we retain the learning is somewhat peculiar. Let's say you went to a cocktail party and met a few people. Harry, Daisy, Jules, Bob, Marie, Jesus, Mary. They're all new people. Could you remember all of their names? How about three years from now? How many names do you think you would remember? Probably none of them, or maybe just a few of them, right? But let's try this. I'm going to tell you a story using these names, and we'll see how well you will remember these names afterwards. I have a hippie Harry friend named Harry. We used to call him Harry Harry. His best friend was Daisy, who loved to wear daisy flowers in her hair and tie-dye t-shirts. They were like hippie couples in college, but Harry ended up marrying Jules, who wore lots of jewelry and was more of a fancy girl. But these three remained friends. So they were invited to a dinner party at Bob and Marie's house. Bob and Marie were both food lovers. Bob looks like Bob's big boy with his big belly stretching, his checkered red and white overalls, and his wife Marie loved to bake fresh apple pies, just like Marie Callender's. But to make this dinner a truly special event, they hired two historical actors to join the dinner party, Jesus and Mary. These actors were perfect for the roles that they were going to play, um, because Jesus came dressed like Jesus Christ, and Mary came dressed like Virgin Mary. Everybody had a great time eating Bob's Big Boy Burgers, Marie Callender Apple Pies, and talking about spirituality and world peace. Now, how many of those names could you remember? What if I told you that I would give you $100 every week and ask you to tell this story to your friends once a week for the next three years? Would you do it? Would you be able to tell the story? If you did that, three years from now, how many names do you think you would remember? Probably all of them, right? And what are your chances of being the best storyteller of these names? That's exactly how we teach at Fremont College. Your education at Fremont College is not a passive experience. Our students take an active role in the classroom discussing and debating their issues. And learning at Fremont College is really a kinesthetic experience. By the time our students graduate, they are ready to be active learners and leaders in their professional fields. If you believe you're ready to achieve something bigger than yourself, change your life, your family's life, and contribute to your community, this is the time. This is your time to make the difference in the world. Join us at Fremont College.